So, I kind of need to confess something to you guys. Recently, I've developed a little bit of a new love affair with macro lenses. So I gotta admit, when I first started my photography filmmaking journey, I pretty quickly ruled out macro lenses thinking that I would never need one because I wasn't interested in taking that shot of a small little ant or taking photos of flowers from up very close. Kinda like the photos that your mom enjoys taking. But now in hindsight, I've realized that a macro lens is so much more than just close up shots. And actually a macro lens is super versatile. Yes, it's true, you can get really nice close up shots with a macro lens, but as well you can shoot from far away and you're gonna get a really nice depth of field, that blurry background, sharp foreground, because it is a 90 millimeter lens. And the fact that this lens has image stabilization built in, you're gonna be able to get really nice handheld filmed B-roll. Just look at these crazy B-roll shots I was able to get from my office and as well these portraits that I took of myself. Yep, myself. Where is Robin when you need him? Using a macro lens, you really get a whole new perspective on things that I just wasn't able to get with other lenses, especially when I'm shooting products. Up until this point, I've really struggled with product photography or filmmaking because I just wasn't able to get close up to get those nice details of the product. But the macro lens, it's super easy to do and it just looks so good. And when you're shooting portraits, I love the fact that this lens has just that nice compression, really bringing the background and the foreground together and creating that nice depth of field and really good looking bokeh too. Now, some tips for shooting with a macro lens. Because you're shooting objects from really close, you wanna make sure that you have a high enough f-stop to get enough of the object in focus. Because you don't just want a little sliver of the object in focus, you wanna have most of the object or the product that you're shooting with a macro lens. I found that having at least f-stop four or higher, maybe to 6.3, gives enough in focus. Now, the problem when you're shooting with a higher f-stop is, is that you're gonna have to have a lot more light, especially if you're indoors and you're living in a place like Scandinavia where it's dark all the time. So it's good to have nice lights, like the aperture lights that I'm doing, to get enough light to have everything in focus. Now, having this Sony 90 millimeter macro lens is going to break the bank a little bit. This lens goes at a price of $1,000. Now, it is expensive, but at the same time, I think it's justified because not only is this a great macro lens, but as well as a great portrait lens. So it's very versatile and you can shoot many different things with this one lens. Now, if you don't have a thousand bucks to invest into a lens, they actually have the Sony 50 millimeter macro lens. And I think that goes for around 550 US dollars. So it is quite a lot cheaper. So those are two options. Now, if you're a Canon shooter, Canon has the Canon 100mm RF or they have the 100mm EF lens and then they also have some other focal length macro lenses, but those are the main two or best macro lenses for Canon cameras. All right, those are my thoughts about the macro lens. I think I'm gonna keep just playing around with this lens and just shooting new perspectives that I just haven't been able to shoot before. Dang, look at my eyes, it looks crazy. Oh, I'm getting even closer. 